Hello my loves. Welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. My name is Jessica Alexandria. I'm the creator of Bahati Life Apothecary if we're meeting for the first time. And if you're an old friend or family of mine, welcome back. It's good to see you again. It's good to be able to hang out with you once again. So as you can tell by the title of today's video, we are going to be diving into the full moon that's happening in the sign of Pisces. I'm a little bit late on sharing my astrological predictions for you guys and my astrological interpretation of the chart and shuffling the cards, but I felt like it was better late than never. The new moon in Virgo that just occurred right before the full moon in Pisces that I'm talking about today, right now, was a big conduit, is that the right word? Um, a big bringer of blessings into my life and things that I was able to sit with and settle in and start to begin to set intentions for. And for that reason, you know, anytime you set intentions, anytime you work your magic, anytime you sit with the divine and pray or whatever it is that you do, those things are gonna then start to take off. And these are things that I can absolutely see within the chart and I'm really excited to share with these what I see within the chart with you guys today. So regardless of your background or your belief, if you're into law of attraction or magic manifestation, I really want you guys to keep your minds open as I'm reading the chart, interpreting this chart for you, but also keep in mind that I myself am a witch. I believe in manifestation. I believe in setting intentions. So I'm going to refer to those things very often throughout this video. I hope you're cool with it. Um, but yeah, so first things first, clearly this full moon is happening in the sign of Pisces. Guys, I love Pisces energy. I genuinely love Pisces energy because it's so mystical, it's so ethereal, it's so intuitive, and it's so divinely led. I am a little partial sometimes to Pisces energy because I am its opposite Virgo. And for that reason, I have to talk a little bit about Virgo's energy and Virgo's um, approach and Virgo's how Virgo will contribute to this full moon because the sun is currently transiting to the sign of Virgo, right? So Pisces, where the moon is falling, where this full moon is happening, will immediately connect intuitively to the universe. It will connect to the, the magic of the divine. It'll connect to the magic of intu intuition and the unknown and the things that are unexplorable, but you can feel them. You know that they exist, but you might not always see it. It's more about like your faith. It's more about your intuitive hunches on what is real and what your, uh, your ability to like manifest through those feelings through those vibes, that's what Pisces rules. And anytime we have a full moon, those energies are ripe, they're full, they're in our face, they're prevalent. Not only can we sometimes touch them, but we can really, really feel them because it, it feels observable. Ob observable, yeah, like we could see it. We can see it right there, we can touch it, right? So when we have Pisces energy being activated by this full moon, tapping every single one of us immediately into the ener energy of intuition and magic and mystical thinking and ethereal existence, we then have the sun, very opposite of that, sitting in the sign of Virgo, processing that and putting it right where it belongs into every single area of our life, right? It's like, think of, think of you, um, think of the existence right now, like us here right now, as a, a computer. Pisces is downloading the messages or downloading information from the divine naturally and effortlessly as Pisces does. And then Virgo is typing it out. The sun in Virgo is typing it out and making it into a letter so that you can see it, so that you can absorb it, right? What I love about this is at the time that this download is happening from Pisces into Virgo, Virgo's natural ruler, Mercury, is now retrograde in the sign of Libra, which connects to you harmony, partnership, alignment, beauty, aesthetic, heart, justice. I almost said harmony one more time, right? So Mercury then is kind of retracing everything that's being written out and says, okay, let's check, let's check this, let's fix this, let's make this better, let's, let's tweak this, let's revisit this. 
right? So basically what we're having is this intuitive download that is coming to us from the cosmic skies, from the divine, from the universe, from the higher self, from God, whatever it is that you want to call it. We have this amazing download. We have the ability to process it and then we have the ability to tweak it, make it better and put it where it belongs. That's what this full moon is going to bring into our lives and it feels very intimate. It feels very close. What I love about this is you have the ability right now to be intuitively guided or intuitively led or have other things that are intuitively guided and intuitive, intuitively led to you that are right for you and ripe for the picking right now or in the weeks to come. Mercury retrograde at the time of the full moon is going to act like one of the biggest blessings because it says that if there is a treasure that was lost at sea, I'm going to find it. The most beautiful treasure that you can think about, because Libra also rules beauty and aesthetic and value. The most beautiful treasure that you can think about, I'm going to find it, even if it's in the bottom of the ocean, and I'm going to bring it up to the surface for you to find it. You, then being intuitively led and guided, are going to follow your own footsteps, follow your own path. Where are your angels and guides leading you? Where is the divine what is the divine whispering within your soul, your spirit, your intuition, your third eye, your inner knowingness, your inner ear? What is it whispering into your life to say, pay attention to this, look for this, go here. The best thing that you can do at the time of the full moon and the weeks to come is to simply go with the flow and follow your vibes. This is not about following your logical thinking about where you think that you would find this treasure to go or where you th believe that you should be at, at the right place at the right time. This is you simply being, as a human being, simply being who you are and just being divinely led to be at the right place at the right time. I also see this as an opportune muse, uh, moment. I was gonna say music, which is so interesting because, but spirit almost made me like blurt that out. I actually, I was gonna talk about healing, but I feel like spirit is really wanting to talk about music and artistry, which is funny because that is also what Pisces rules. Pisces connects to music and artistry and it's and and honestly Virgo is the breath the, the brush stroke so my artists my creatives you're going to find your muse at the time of the full moon if you have felt that you are uninspired or uncreative or that you've abandoned certain artistic projects this is the time for those things to awaken within you once again especially that the vertex this point of faded, this faded encounter is falling in the sign of Leo, who rules creative, who rules art, who rules um, like our ability to be creative and to express that creativity is essentially what it is that I'm trying to say. Also, I, I want to go back to what it was I was originally going to talk about, which is deep, deep healing. All right. So as you guys know, or if you don't know, I'll say it again. I talk about this a lot on my YouTube channel here on Bahati Life Podcast and also on Instagram. But, you know, these planets, these major planets have been retrograde for a minute, right, for a long time. And that's Pluto, Saturn, Neptune, Jupiter, and Uranus. These are these major planets that have been retrograde and what they've been doing is actively breaking down the foundation of what makes us feel solid stable and safe here on earth. This could be your finances, this could be your relationship, this could be your identity, this could be your faith. It could be anything, it could be your health, it could be anything. This really depends on what's going on in your chart. And regardless if you have planetary placements within these, um, within your natal chart, within these signs, it's impacting it because it's transiting somewhere within your astrological chart. I've been promising you guys a, a video about how to pull your chart and how to read your chart, but I've been holding off because I was thinking about adding it in addition to um, Sacred Circle Tarot School. And the reason why I'm saying all of this is because I know that someone's gonna ask, well, what does this mean, what does this mean? And I know it can be a lot, it is a lot. I have always said to my Sacred Circle tarot school students and also anybody who has ever approached me to talk about astrology. Astrology is one of the most simple and complex studies that you could ever, in my opinion, that you could ever get into. That's why I love it. That's why I love it. But So I understand that it can be 
very exciting but also very confusing <laughs> at the same time believe me that's why I always say I'm gonna be studying astrology for the rest of my life because I'm always constantly learning and I've been doing this the majority of my life and at the time I'm be filming this I'm 30 gonna be 35 so anyways back looking at these charts you guys you know when we see these major planets that are retrograde challenging what makes us feel safe what makes us feel stable this can take a toll on all of your bodies your mental emotional spiritual fit did i all of your bodies right when the full moon happens especially in the sign of pisces there is an opportunity for I don't, it's not even like you're going to get the, the ability to be patched up by something. It's your ability to be, the wound to be flushed out and then like have energetic, like, energetic healing over it, right? It's like Reiki healing. It's like some of you guys have been, um, like you, you've been kind of walking around, whether it's like a physical wound or an emotional wound or mental or psychological, there's a wound there. A lot of us have been walking around with this wound and you're doing your best to carry on with as normal. The Pisces full moon flushes that wound out simply by connecting with this energy, simply by calling it in. And Virgo sun sitting directly, directly opposite of that works to meticulously heal it to energetically like take the the energy that Pisces has been called in that you have called in and begin to patch it up and heal it in a way that is next level Virgo is the healer in the physical healer and the medicine man of the entire zodiac so when we have Pisces who's getting the the methodology or the, the the recipes or the healing that you're able to call in you have the medicine man who then applies it and soothes and makes that better right with mercury retrograde in the sign of libra this brings back information or old wounds of your past that need to be addressed this can mean that the universe finds that now now will be the right time in order to have a conversation in order to lay something to rest only now is the right time for us to be able to reconnect or reconcile or make amends or issue an apology. Why? Because Mercury brings, brings back people of the past, things of the past, things from our childhood, things that we loved, lost loves, those types of things. This is not only going to be things from our recent past here in this life, but this can be a connection, a new connection that feels like someone that you have you feel like you've known them your entire life Pisces has always ruled the soulmate it has always ruled the twin flame it's always ruled the ability to bring divine inter intervention and a next level of love Pisces energy is exalted Le uh, Venus energy Libra energy it's it brings the best of love it brings love that doesn't even you don't even think that it could ever exist. It's true love. It's fairy tale. It's it literally is fairy tale romance written in day and age. So if these are things that it is that you want to call out, or if these are things that you want to bring into your existence, you're gonna have to write them down. You're gonna have to work your magic. You're gonna have to tap into the laws of attraction. Whatever it is that you want to call it, you're gonna have to pray about it, be about it, speak speak about it. Okay, so. Those are some amazing things that this full moon can bring. I've always been someone who believes in working with the full moon even over new moons, not because the new moon is bad, but I just have always seen the advantage of working with the full moon always. That's just always been my vibe. That being said, I wanna go ahead and shuffle these cards and see what else Spirit has for us at the time of the full moon. I want you guys to keep your mind and your energy open as much as you allow it to be. I don't want you to focus too much on any one question just because spirit speaks to you now. At the time of the full moon, what do we have? These cards are jumping, so that's always a good sign. Whoa. Interesting. Right. 
Whoa. Okay, guys, sorry. I'm just a little stunned. Mm -hmm. So, first thing to jump out is the Six of Cups. For those of you guys that don't know, Six of Cups is reconciliation. It's things from the past coming back. Not to haunt you, but to heal you. To make an offering, especially with Ace of Pentacles here. There's a, a really serious offering that wants to fall out of the mouth of someone or fall from the heart of someone. I'm also seeing that a seed can be planted, especially when it comes to children, with the vertex point falling in the sign of Leo, squaring off with Uranus. It's giving miraculous conception. For those of you guys that are trying to have babies, this is an awesome time, I, I feel, in order to conceive a child, if that's something that you're setting intention for. Especially a petite child. This child would be very petite. I love that. Uh, random detail that just came through. I In this case, it would be a single, a single child. Um very highly intelligent highly intel highly intelligent and very very sensitive um that 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 would be the child that's the, the child that's coming down to this earth right and probably will be drawn into positions of healing anyways um so there's definitely that coming through with the six of cups and the ace of pentacles showing up for some of you guys this is something from the past that has you felt like it's long gone but a part of you in your downtime, in your quiet time, has sensed that it might be looming just in your, it's like, it's not, you don't see it, but you feel it, right? It's like, you, you may not see signs of it, but it's somehow connected to you. Pisces also rules that, that um, string of fate between you and, and another, and it just gets closer and closer and closer. What I love about this is you also have 10 of cups here. And you also have the Hierophant and the Fool card. So again, I, I just feel that with the full moon, these energies, especially through ritual, because the Hierophant loves to, to work with a ritual, especially when it comes to building and budding your happiness and fullness in your life. Emphasis on full, fullness in your life and the full moon. It makes you want to be like filled with blessing, abundance, advancement, inspiration, clarity, like things that it's like, there's, there's also this message here of like recognizing your calling, instantly recognizing your calling, instant rec recognizing your counterpart, instant, instantly recognizing your purpose, instantly recognizing when something is off in the body. It's like, it just, something feels familiar and as soon as you hear it, as soon as you see it, as soon as you sense it, you know what it is or you know who they are or you know that this is where you belong or you know that this is the space, this is the person. This is also an amazing time to be able to contact with that in order to make contact with that. Again, this is someone who might have been processing and thinking in their heads, I know that there's something out there for me. This is that intuitive hunch that you know that there is something out there that the hermit card understands that the higher font will help you to get to that the two of wands is that feeling of i'm looking for it but i don't know if i necessarily see it but i can exp I, I can just sense that it's coming or i believe that it's coming because spirit has already put it in my heart to to know that it's out there i just haven't seen signs and right now i'm relying on my faith that that's what the fool card is all about it's about relying on your faith taking that leap of faith, putting yourself out there, starting over. And this doesn't always have to be a fresh start. And would it be a fresh start? Even with the Ten of Swords here and the Six of Cups, it's not necessarily a total clean slate for every single person. Because again, there's this feeling of familiarity. I said that when I was looking at the chart and now we have the Six of Cups here. It's like immediate recognition. It's recognizing again your counterpart or recognizing the space that, is that you belong. Now, will the full moon kind of exit out things in your life that don't serve a purpose or put you in a position where you understand that this is not going to harmonize and align, especially with Mercury retrograde through the sign of Libra? This is full awareness that 
I don't feel like this can work. I, I, I love this thing or I want to be there or may, I don't like this anymore, whatever the case is, there's a full intuitive understanding that you know, okay, I've processed this enough or I'm processing this now and I understand that there is something more out there for me and when I, rec when I see it, I'm gonna recognize it. It will be familiar to me. Some of you guys might also be, I'm hearing advancing in different levels in your job. If there's somewhere that you wanted to be considered for a new position in your career, I would go knocking on that door once again at the time of the full moon, around the full moon, and asking if that position is available or if there's any space for you. I'm also seeing that for some of you guys, you might be leveling up, asking for a promotion that feels very active. And for some of you guys, you might actually be ending something with a job or career, but really branching off into a new venture that is actually your purpose and something that you've been working on your entire life. If you've been someone that has been in college, in university, or studying for something, you've been studying, you might be interning, and now all of a sudden you're finding a door opening up after your studies, after you've you know put in that work, a door opening up to get you to the part where, or to get into the position that has had your hopes, your dreams, your wishes written all over it. I'm going to see if there's one last card to come through. I will be working my magic for the Pisces full moon. I will link the oil that I'll be creating down below in the description box and also in the comments. It is the Pisces oil. It's one of my favorites to work with. I literally save five bottles each time for myself because as the Virgo, I really, really bang with that energy. I really do. It's always made me mystical. It's always helped my business grow. Um, I have Pisces Midhaven, so it just has always helped me do what it is that I do. The cards that came out, again, the Empress and the Queen of Wands. This is about knowing who you are, knowing your truth, knowing what you want, knowing that you're capable of receiving it, calling it out, asking the universe, falling back and letting it fall into your lap after you've manifested, after you wrote that petition, after you lit that candle. All right, my loves, I'm sending you guys all my love. Please let me know where this full moon is falling within your chart. I'm curious. And what are you specifically manifesting? Feel free to talk to me in emoji because I am fluent in the language of emoji. Can't help myself. I love those little pictures. All right, I want to invite you to subscribe to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. If you need me, you can find me at bahadilife.com and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. You were created to live a life of magic, abundance, love, and blessing, all of which will be up to you to call into your life with perfect divine timing. Bahati Life Apothecary is the magical home of Jessica Alexandria, where you will find a wide variety of mystical items to help you to manifest your heart's truest desires, as well as tools to help you tap into your unlimited spiritual potential. Browse the online apothecary and find hand-fixed candles to magnetize your intentions towards you. You'll find thyme and star-soaked conjure oils charged to anoint your petitions, your body, and personal magical items. You'll also find the highest quality of herbs for creating your own potions and concoctions and even reserve time and space with Jessica Alexandria herself who will work with you to create something special and truly yours. Each item found within the apothecary are created with intention in alignment with the movement of the stars to make them even more powerful totems to bring into your own sacred space. Visit BahadiLife.com to browse the apothecary and don't forget to follow Jessica on Instagram at BahadiLife where she posts daily messages to uplift, inspire, empower, and to remind you of your magical potential along your magical journey. Blessings to each and every one of you. I'll see you there.